Hello, I am Pastor A. a. Todd of the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church of Dallas. I am so delighted that you have chosen to join us for this short Bible study. It's just some encouraging words to help us along our spiritual journey. So we're not going to hesitate. We're going to go ahead and get started with our quick lesson on today. What I would like to talk about today, I um, want to give you some principles to happiness. Some principles to happiness. Um, if you want to be happy, uh, there's no other source of knowledge and wisdom that you should consult other than the Bible. Some think that the Bible is an old and outdated book that offers little help uh, for us in our day and time. However, if you want to be happy, not just happy but joyful and blessed, you need to read the Bible. The author of the Bible is God himself and he created us. So surely if there's one being, the one who created us, knows, knows more about us than anybody else, he knows how to make us happy. God himself. So listen, the first thing that we want to talk about, the first principle I want to give you is, do not compare yourself to others. In order to be happy, do not compare yourselves to others. Let me give you a background scripture. 2 Corinthians 10 chapter verse 12 says this, it says, For we dare not clash ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves. But they measure themselves by themselves and comparing themselves amongst themselves are not wise. The thief of joy is comparing ourselves to others. When we look at others, we, we, it's very easy for us to find the things that we lack instead of finding the things that we have. In reality, one can never win the compare game. If you consider yourself superior to others, you will feel proud of yourself. On the other hand, if you find yourself bitter and, and sad, if you find yourself inferior to others, God does not determine your value through the life of others. He does not use other people to measure up your character. So why must you compare yourself to others? You are unique. You have advantages and you have disadvantages. You experience life in different ways. So comparing yourself to others, the Bible says it is not wise. Instead of comparing yourself to others, why don't you try comparing yourself to yourself? Compete with yourself. Be the better version of yourself each day. So the first thing, for us to maintain happiness and the pursuit of happiness and the principle of happiness is to make sure that we do not compare ourselves to others. Secondly, second principle I want to give you is be content. Wow. First Timothy 67 says, Now godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it's certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing with these, we shall be content. It's sad. It's so sad that many people mistakenly believe that money will bring them the lasting happiness. However, many have taken this path will soon realize that they are wrong and they're on the wrong road toward happiness. The key to the happiness is not money, but it's contentment, and your contentment must be coupled with godliness. Contentment is not, is not about laying on your bed all day because you're content with what you have. Godly contentment means that you must put your trust and confidence in God, that he will provide all your needs if and however if you, mm -mm, you are content with your life, you will soon find yourself in a state of peace. You will find yourself blessed, and blessed means happy. So, let's not compare ourselves to others. And secondly, let's be content. But I have one more if you don't mind. The third principle, how to be happy is be a giver. What? Yes, we must learn to be a giver. Strive to make other people happy. <laughs> and if you strive to make other people happy, you see people happy, happiness will eventually find its way back to you. Here's our verse, Acts 20 and 25. It is more blessed, once again, the word blessed, happy, is more blessed to give than to receive. 
God wants us to live the way of giving rather than the way of getting. Our human nature is focused on ourselves. We fool ourselves when we say we will be happier when we get more and more and give less and less. However, God wants us to reflect his giving character. And that should be the goal of all Christians is to be givers. If you want to be happy, serve other people. Strive to make other people happy and you'll see it makes you happy also. This is the main reason that Jesus said that it is more blessed to give than to receive. These are just three simple principles. There are so many more. God already tells us how to be happy. It's written in his scripture. Listen, we don't have to use this as any experiment. We don't have to check it out to see if it works or not. I promise you, as a living witness, it works. And all the help that we need is already found in the pages of God's holy word, the Bible. You too can find happiness in God's word. That's our Bible study. Remember those three quick principles? And I promise you, if, if it doesn't happen, you can contact me yourself. I promise you that you can find happiness in God's word. That's our short Bible study for today. Listen, God bless you. Thank you for being a part of, a, of what we're doing here on this at this particular time. Once again, I am Pastor A.A. Todd of the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church. We love you. Look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.